Sync Music, licensing explained for anybody that has never had music in film or TV, but would like to. When you and your collaborators create a piece of music and it results in a recording, there are two parts to the ownership of that recording. And those are these. In order for a TV show, film, or commercial to use your music in their project, they need to obtain what is called a synchronization license, hence the term sync. In the license, they need to be granted permission from the people that have created the musical copyright, which would be the songwriting and publishing side, and permission from the people that own the master recording. If you have a record deal, then the record company is the one that controls the master recording side of it. And if you don't, then you're also the master recording part. As a writer, you and your collaborators are also on the other side. So that agreement would be seeking to get permission from you on both sides. Now here's the important part. In exchange for that permission, there's a fee. This fee can be as low as $50 and as high as hundreds of thousands of dollars. It depends on the project and also the popularity of the song. This is for the one-time use of that song and that project and nothing else. It's not like a record deal where they will then own that piece of music. There are certain cases where you can create music specifically for film and TV, but that's not a standard sync deal. Residuals, once the project is aired, depending on what the medium is, your PRO will collect money for the use of that song in that medium. Let's recap. So syncing your music for film and TV is gonna provide one, with exposure, and two, some revenue for the use of that exposure, but it's non-exclusive. Like and save this post because I know that you are a music creator that's about your money. And if you have any more questions on sync music, drop them in the comments.